Jax here again today, so for Sundays. Welcome to those who are watching for the first time and welcome back to those who are already subscribed. So today's going to be a short video. My so for Sunday videos are usually short. Um, I'm going to speak about this app called Decoder. I know it's on Android phones because I use the Android device. I'm not 100% sure if there's a version for the iOS um, operating system, but we're going to get into it now. So Decoder. So this app is pretty much an IDE for you to do code in. You can actually change what language you want to do it in. So they have C, C++, C Sharp, Java, Python, PHP, Objective-C, Ruby, Python 3, Node.js, like the list, even Swift is on this. So that's cool. But um, yeah, so this works in portrait mode. It also works in landscape mode. Let me just change it over for you guys. You can also put it in a landscape mode. As you see, well right here I have a generic method um, because I was practicing instead of overloading methods, checking out generic methods. So it, everything's set up for you pretty much and you just code it on. And then once you're ready to see what's gonna print, here I have two arrays, a number array and a char array. So it's gonna print exactly what we see here. One, two, three, four, five for the number array and T, S, G, H for the char array. That's what should print out when I click play. Boom. So there's your output. So let's say I wanted to print something else. Let's do system dot out dot print ln and it even gives you the parentheses here so I don't even have to switch it. Um, let's put out quotes. I'm gonna put hello world since that's the infamous first line most people ever write. Oops, that was a colon. Semicolon. And then if I click the play button, it will also say hello world at the bottom. So yeah, I wanted you guys to see this uh, app that I have. You know, I know some people want to be able to practice on the go without having to use pen and paper or even take out your laptop on a train. For someone like me who lives in New York, that is not the wisest decision to do is open your laptop on a train. Like, I'm sorry, that's just the sad fact of living in New York. So if you want to just, you know, practice small things or even large scale, I haven't printed anything on a large scale on this. I've just done little methods here and there just to keep practicing as I go. Um, but yeah, this is Decoder. Um, again, you can always change the language that you want to code in. So if you're someone who is an iOS developer and you happen to have an Android phone as well, you can use this to use Swift. And also there's Kotlin on here. I didn't even know that. Um, so that's awesome. But um, yeah, so this is Decoder, and thank you for checking out this video today. Remember, like and subscribe. Also, I'm having a giveaway, so the way you can enter is follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter, and also leave a comment down below of your favorite technology, software, anything, something that has to do with technology in the comment section below. And next Sunday, I will announce the winner. Okay, guys, thanks again. Ajax.